Hello, it is James from the McMillions, and today I am going to be walking for you guys. Yes, I, I am going to be walking in my walker just to show you guys and to prove to myself that I still have the ability to walk. This uh, applies to so many grounds for me because I love to dance, uh, probably slow dance, uh, in my walker, and um, I might show you guys a little bit of my moves. So, um, yeah. Uh, I might make a dance video with my sister. This depends what she says. Um, just to show you guys how to dance with someone in a walker. I know you guys have seen me dance in my wheelchair. I don't remember if I put that on YouTube. If I haven't, I will. But, um, yeah. I, I'm going to show you guys how I walk. Um, and my height is about 5.2.5 and 0.5. Is because one of my legs is short, shorter than the other. So yeah, let's get started. And yes, I tried stuffing in my shirt to make uh, my pants fit a little more, but I don't think it'll work very well. So. I plan on doing like four laps. Not like that. I'm just swimming back so I can stand up. Um, to be honest, I kind of don't like my shirt being tucked in. So, but if it keeps my pants up, that's good. And for a good fashion sense, my crown fedora. I call it my crown fedora because it doesn't fit my head very well. Yeah. I probably should have, shouldn't have did that with loose fitting pants, but I don't care. Um, so, uh, a couple of tricks I could do is what is called a, um, a backwards lean, which is basically step forward, or a, a yeah, backwards lean is basically you're sitting on your shoulders. That is horrible for your shoulders. So, uh, another trick I can do, you guys might have seen this in another video, let me think, is what is called a, uh, a hasp. Uh, I don't know what they're called, but a, my coach buddy taught me this. And that was all, that was all out of work. Uh, uh, this is actually an exercise, not really a uh, trick, but uh, it's called a, I call it a sleeping way. It's basically you aim for the sidebar of your walker. This works on, uh, okay. It's also, uh, how you would do a uh, line dance. 
and a, well, I'm guessing a line dance would be in a walker. So. I'm sorry. I went uh, crazy ways with that. No. Uh, so basically, what I'm going to show you next is the the walker position for uh, dancing. And basically, this is the only way I could read in a dance. If you if you if you have seen the dance video of my sister and I and I'm in my realtor, she's basically reading me. I'm just doing a few um, movements to tell her to do stuff, but she is actually reading. So basically, what I want to do is take your down, or which is my right, and step forward, then step back, step forward, step back. And then the girl or guy, if you have the strength for this, if you want to turn, the guy, the girl or guy would. Or let me tell you where the guy or girl's hand should be. So their hands should be on the person in the walker's shoulders. So you step forward, they step back. You. They, you step back, they step forward, and basically that's the main comprehension of dancing in a walker. But as I was saying with um, spinning, uh, if you have the strength, try to lift up your legs so you have the full twirl. And what the person would do is spin you around. Not very fast, but spin you around. And then they will stop you and go around you. Now, uh, to spin them, it's unique to have a. Uh, uh, a chair on your seat. That's also quite um, something when dancing because uh, um, one of the things uh, you could do is to sit down rapidly and if you're on a dry or a hard floor you could push back and coast and uh, another trick you could do is what is how to get your seat back up. Is uh, let's put the seat down. It kind of looks weird, but it's very effective, especially when your balance is really bad. So what I want to do, since most of my weight is in my butt, the last few one is bend down to where the my tailbone is underneath the seat. Push up like that. That pushes up the seat, so you can go like that and walk into the foot. So basically, another thing with dance is the person could go behind you and basically either push it down or knee it down. My sister has done both. I'll tell you that when you're not expecting it, the seat can hurt your butt um, because it hits you so hard in the ass. Um, <laughs> Another thing is, like I said, with the um, uh, if another thing is when you're dancing, and if I call this boxing, her feet or the guy's feet might be in your walker proximity. So if they're not in the walker proximity, and they help arms long enough, then you could do the side to side. But if in the box, if you're box, if you're boxing, you might want to just stick with the back and forth. One. Da, 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 da. 
and my dad's home so i'll see you guys later make sure you like share comment and subscribe